Today training is how to use historical graph and box and whisk, whisker in Excel. Um, I'm going to tell you how to sh how to do this uh, historical graph and another thing called box and whisk whisker in Excel. Uh, what historical uh, uh, graph does in Excel, it helps you to uh, distribute your data in a bin. That is what historical data has helped you to do. Whereas Box and uh, Whisker help you to uh, enable you to have variation of sets of data just to give you a different set of data and show how those data are actually distributed and interrelated. And so historic, so each one of them, I'm going to go through how to create a chart for historic histograms as well as box and whisker in Excel. And uh, let's assume in that um, we have the following data, um, the product name, the expenses, the amount one, amount two, amount three. Uh, let's assume that you have the properties names and these are all the expenses that you killed. And these are all the amounts that you spend and you're trying to find a kind of comparisons uh, where you can represent uh, this amount one, amount two, amount three uh, using histograms as well as box and fix, uh, whisker to uh, illustrate your expenditures in a graphical ways. But where you have to have an histograms, you uh, distribute your data in the beans as well as in form of a bean shape as well as using a box and whisker. This box and whisker sometimes it looks like uh, it's mostly the kind, it's a kind of uh, uh, box you know when you are doing trading uh, you have a box uh, that shows the trend of a chase. Uh, it's almost similar to that. So I'm going to go through each one of them how to do each one of them uh, the histograms and box and whisker. So let's dive into the um let's assume that we have this data and you have this is the data you want to use let's quickly go straight down to the histogram um if you go to your inside tabs on your top navigations then you scroll to your right where you see um what we call um uh, you can see here uh, from here you have your uh uh uh, let's see this is where your box uh, this is where your histograms on these icons under the chart panel so you can see histograms and there are two type of histograms here we have the ones called the histograms and the other one is called Pareto's um, but both of them what it does I say they show the distribution of data and they group into a bin and Pareto's what it does it shows the relative portions of each factors to the total and also it shows the most significant factors in the data that this shows the most significant factors in the data and this one distributes the data into a bin so let's pick up this uh, let's assume that you can see here it's in the form of a bin shape and um, so let's uh, enlarge this you can see here that the illustration of this uh, data is in form of a bin. Um, it's showing uh, you can see here we have amount one, which is point one, and uh, here we have amount one, which is point two, and here we have amount three. Uh, you can see here. So, what it does is it, it shows it groups each amount uh, from 208 up to 429. And it also from 429 to 569, and from 569 to 709. So if you go down, um, so you can see here, because what it's doing is that uh, it's, it's, it's grouping the data in, in the form of a bin, and it started from the lowest amount up to the uh, 422, and increase it from 420 to 500 and something and also increase it to here so and he use the the vertical axis and this is the horizontal axis this is the sharp axis area and this is the vertical as uh, vertical axis 
So under this particular vertical axis, uh, what this tense means is, is, is grouping it based on uh, numbers. And it's telling you from three, which is the vertical axis, uh, you have, this is a form of a bin, uh, series one, or, uh, amount one. And if you click any one of them, you can see here, the way the, the histograms represent the data seems to be a little bit, uh, 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 a little bit challenged to be able to convince what this, uh, this, uh, this chart is trying to represent. Uh, because uh, in some places you have the properties names or you have the expenses and you see the variation of how much the variations between amount one, amount two, amount three. But it's different here because what it does, it distributes and group all the data into a bin. So what it does that uh, yeah, I hypothetically have selected the data from the lowest, uh, which is 208. 289 which is here uh 289 and to and to 429 uh, we have do you have 429 here uh we have 429 um let's see whether we have any 429 here okay there's no 429 and it start from 429 to 569 uh 56 569 so it's just the way I manage group the data and you can change the chart names and you can also use different colors uh, to, to represent it. And you can also add more chart elements here. Uh, you have the data, uh, you can see here, uh, the data labels. And uh, this is just the regions. And if you remove the regions, uh, it will just telling you. So what it's trying to do here uh, these histograms only look at amount one, uh, ignored amount two, amount three, even though we have I highlighted amount one, amount two, amount three. So it only ignores the amount two and amount three because the only way you can group the data is you only have to look at uh, one uh, group of data in a columns. So it will not be able to look at more columns. It just only one columns. The group the data. You can see we have two eight five, which we have it here, and that's the beginning of the data. That's the lowest amount, uh, up to four two nine, and uh, then up to seven o nine. So what it's trying to do is that uh, uh, in in three nine and four, um, we have a set of group of data from here a, a set of group of data that started from 208 up to 409 49 and here we have a set of data that started from 429 to 569 and the same thing happened here so you can change this one uh, but as i said histograms only look at a a columns uh, uh, range of data and you group it then into a bin and it ignores the rest of the uh, Amount two, amount three. So let's look at box and whisker. As I indicated, that uh, the box and whisker, if you want to do the same thing from here, uh, remember what it does, as I indicated, that uh, uh, it displays the variations within a set of data. Um, that means it's going to consider the amount one, amount two, and amount three. And there is also a multiple data set which relate to each other. And it will look at each one of these multiple data that are related to each other. And uh, before we even go to, let's look at the second uh, per Perotus. If you click Perotus, uh, let's assume that we are still using this data. Uh, take off this. Uh, I like that in such chart panels. Uh, let's look at what Perotus does. Uh, you can see here, Perotus displays the data in different forms. And uh, so Perotus, um, you can see, uh, what Peritus does is, is you can see here, is the, 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 the displays is completely different because there's also a relative portion of each factors to the date, to the total. And it's always also considered the amount once only as well. And here, um, instead of grouping, it's, it, even there is a group in the bin, 
but what it does is started from the uh, from the largest pin which is nine and which is from four to nine to five six something and it move down to uh, the five from five hundred and six to this and up to that and uh, it's showing the proportion of the percentages and this is the uh, vertical as uh, axis and this is the horizontal and um, it's, it's the way it displays is is completely different from the histograms the way histograms displays the data and the way Peritos displays the data is completely different so you can see here yeah, there's a different variations but the only important thing is that they still only consider amount one which is in columns d so then let's look at the box and uh, whisker display um under the box you can see there's a change here um let's let's remove let's go to the chart element and remove the data sets okay and you can see here the displays is quite different but under the box and whisker uh, the amount one amount two amount three is taken into considerations and the expenses is displayed at the chart areas under the uh, horizontal axis uh, whereas the total amount ex of each expenses is displayed at the vertical axis so you can see and it's using a kind of colors to represent the amount one amount two amount three so here under the amount one what is telling you on the repairs all the things that you do is on the repairs um, you can see here um, it will it will sum sums all the repair together and uh, we can see you have one repair another um, how many repairs we have two repairs so under the repairs it will tell you look this is how much you spend on the repair and uh, on amount one amount two amount three so what it's going to do it will sum up all the things you spend on the repair and it give you the totals and uh, see each one of these totals is displaced in form of box and whisker and and you can see here because what it does is is it displays the data and that data has to be related to each other in the same way because repair we have repair in in amount one amount two amount three under the bay and we also have another repairs uh here as well which is 560 517 so it's going to group each one of them and uh under this amount one you can see if you look if you use the chart element uh grill so that will be able to displace how much is included you can see here uh under we have five five sixty and four ninety you can see five sixty four ninety and two hundred and twenty which is almost a, the least amount on amount one and uh we also have uh five sixty which is also here five hundred and sixty and it group them based on the amount here yeah, the lowest amount will comes and the highest will be and under the amount two uh, we also have the same uh, displays of uh, the amount that was spent from the lowest to the highest and also the under the amount three which is displays in gray colored so this is how uh, box and whisker displays the expenses but if you have to re look at it uh, block box and whisker uh, exclude the property names and you only look at the expense and the reason why is that it's looking at the any descriptions before the data uh, before the values or data set so he knows that C columns is the only text um, that is be before the amount so it will ignore the property name you only use the expenses to displays the informations and that is the reason why you have the total repair the waste the water the service charge and the food so and each one of them is displays in a way that it has to be displayed in excel so this is how to use box 
and whisker in excel so hope you guys enjoyed this training and i will look forward for the next training have a great day bye for now take care